Hello viewers, welcome to Ultimate Gaming Guide. I'm Tanver and in this video I'll be showing you how can you play the classic Nintendo game in your modern gaming computer or any kind of computer, I mean, any kind of decent laptops or, you know, a desktop would be able to play these games. Uh, they don't have very high requirement. Um, you know, I'm just going to put my computer specification here. This is not, this is like a budget gaming build, uh, about $400 worth, Ryzen 5. 5600G, motherboard uh, Astro B450M Stilligion, DDR4 16GB RAM, and it's silicon power M.2 SATA SSD. So, I mean, uh, this uh, this is like good enough to play these games or any kind of emulation. Um, so, and what, and what do you need to play these games? So, first of all, you need an emulator and you need the games. Uh, and the games are called uh, NES ROMs. And uh, where to get it? And the best place to get it would be the Emulator Zone website. And the best emulator for playing classic Nintendo game is Messen. And uh, and to get the NES ROM, the best website would be Vim.net. After you download the emulator and download the game that you need, uh, you uh, there are some emulator settings uh, that are worth. Uh, uh, considering, uh, you know, the video filter HQ4X, this will make things nice and crispy, but there are so many other filters that you can use. And another thing to click option, then input and set up your controller. Uh, you can like use the classic, you know, uh, Super Nintendo controller uh, and you know to spice things up to relieve your old memories but you should be using a standard modern Xbox controller or any kind of modern controller to get the maximum advantage and uh, and you can also like save game and load games you know save state load state uh, you know back in the day the classic NES game you were you were not able to save these games so now, now with the emulator you're being able to save and load and even if you like uh, make any mistake during gameplay, you can like rewind pressing your LT button and you know, you can go fast. If the game speed seems a little slow for you, you can press RT to fast forward. So these are the biggest advantages of using uh, the emulator, the Messen emulator. Okay, so let's just demonstrate how to do this. Okay, go to Google and search for emulator zone plus NES emulator and click on the first link and then uh, go down a little bit and click Messen. This is the best emulator for playing classic Nintendo games. It has a uh, you know 8.7 per 8.7 rating and uh, 2,000 almost 3,000 votes. So that's pretty good. Go down a little bit and click Messen here again and uh, you should be uh, able to download uh, the emulator. Uh, this will be in a compressed zip file. So, you know, it downloaded right away, it's very small. Okay, so after you downloaded the emulator, just uh, right click, uh, click extract all and extract everything here. And after that, you can uh, delete that uh, zip file and go inside and double click Messen. And uh, it will give you, a, it will prompt you for updates, so just update it. Okay, so after you update it, it will like uh, create a whole bunch of like files, like uh, like saved and then screenshots uh, and all these other files don't uh, or settings. Don't delete any of this. But what are you going to do? You're just going to right click. I, I would suggest you to create a folder called like game library. And what are you gonna do? You're gonna put your games here in the game library. Uh, unfortunately, I can't show you how to get the NES ROMs, but uh, if you do a quick Google search for NES ROM or go to the website that I mentioned here, uh, you would be able to find them easily. So after you uh, get the game or get the NES ROM, uh, I would suggest you to copy paste it here in your game library. So I already have it. So I'm going to copy paste it in my game library here. And this is a 1942 game and I'm going to this is this is also going to be a zip file so extract it. And uh, this is the only file that you need and make sure you have the correct file is by wait, these uh, these files will have like NES extension. So just cut paste that in your game library and you can delete this uh, zip file in that folder. Okay, and you should be all set now. Just uh, double click Messen again and you're gonna click open, file open. 
and then select the file in your game library okay so like you see it's already been selected so go if it's not been selected just you know go to mess in your game library and select that file open and it should turn on the game okay and uh, there are a few sh options that you need to take note of it's like go to your uh, video filters and um, go to uh, select HQ4X. This will make things nice and crispy, but there are also a whole bunch of other options to try out. And for video size, you don't have to worry about video size. Just press F11. It will go full screen. And, and then uh, go. F uh, and another important thing is just to select input. Like I said, and uh, when you click input, you select NES here and... Um, you can set up a standard, you should be using a standard controller, I mean the standard Xbox controller, and you can also, but if you want to use uh, the Super Nintendo controller, uh, make sure it has an USB input, uh, so, uh, the, but the setup process should work the same way for any kind of controller. So just click setup here, and what are you going to do, see that uh, this is a pad layout, uh, the D-pad layout, so what do you, you instead of d-pad you want to use the thumbstick right so just click up and then press up on your thumbstick and you know press down press down on your thumbstick plus uh, then click here and press left on your thumbstick right you know you know how things work okay so start button so this is your start button this is your select button so st start here and then select here see it's already started the game because i pressed like start so this has already been set up and you can set up this button here here and here see so how it works that's how it works and like you can see i'm already being able to play the game here so last 30 to see i'm being able to control this this is much better than d-pad uh you know the thumbstick is way superior so you can see I'm being able to easily play this game. There is no lag and to to make sure uh, I'm going to show you something else here. Uh, you can click the video and then you can click show FPS. It will show you. See I'm getting 60 FPS. So that's another way to see how the emulator is performing in your computer. And you can also save the game. Just click here, pause and save state and it will timestamp it. And see, it's timestamp uh, 2 uh, 32 p.m. And you can also just, after you're uh, done saving, you can load the same game from here. So, you see, it's loaded. And another biggest advantage, uh, um, besides the saving and loading, you can, like, you know, if you make a mistake, let's see, let's see, let me die here. Okay, so, and I can, like, you know, uh, rewind my game. So, so you can that way you can cover up your mistakes and if the gameplay seems a little bit like a slower for you you can like press your rt button and you you can go fast forward so those are some of the greatest advantage of uh using the emulator and i hope this uh little video cleared everything out and you are being able to play the nes game in your uh, computer if this video helped you out in any way, be sure to like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. You have a good one.